Welcome everybody to Cup with Gup. PGA final thoughts for the AT&T Pebble Beach Pro Am Classic, I think they call it. I don't even know if they call it Classic at the end. A um, little late lunch for me here. Going to drop this out quickly. Um, still handling you know some of the personal stuff and uh, with the kiddos. Kiddos are at our school. Um, so far, we've not got it as bad as Dallas. Looks like Dallas is basically on lockdown with the, all the ice and stuff just to the south of me, uh, starting to get ice. Um, we'll probably get a little bit, but nothing like with Dallas. Dallas is basically bullseye. So having lived there, I know when this kind of stuff happens there, it's uh, definitely a gridlock and uh, not fun time. So stay safe out there if you are in the city of Dallas. Um, if you would like to join us right now, smash 20% off any package, includes a seven-day risk-free trial. Uh, went through a lot of that stuff on Smash Factor. If you listen to it, uh, would love to have you guys. We had a lot of new signups in January. Looking forward to the uh, PJ season kind of taking over. We uh, one NFL game left with the uh, Super Bowl, which is showdown. So more of a strategy theory type situation. Uh, and then we're basically all hands on deck towards uh, golf. Still got NBA going on and uh, has some other content announcements I'll be making probably tomorrow, uh, just depending on what's going on uh, with the family and, and the father-in-law and stuff like that. Uh, hoping to get that rolled out to everybody in the updates on our content for 2023. Um, rate and review us on iTunes helps a lot. And I will uh, always pull those for our free drawings during the big giveaway weeks. Subscribe and like this video on YouTube in the comment section. Tell me who you think wins. Listener league is in the description. Uh, last I looked, I think we're about 70% full. So let's get that filled up so we can uh, try to boost it a little bit for waste, then bigger for rib, which will have a Millie maker uh, and then on to the players and then eventually the masters. Um, final thoughts for me, obviously I think one of the bigger, discussion points um it's kind of an awkward deal and we're dealing with it again a little bit different than last week but multiple course potential weather um you want to get your content out so people you know have time to read it and, and all that kind of stuff and plus my schedule is just a little bit crazier this week um you know with the kiddos and and because my wife's been at, at the uh hospice and stuff um since monday night so you know, the only certain times you can work on it and you're kind of like, man, but you want to put out the best information. And in this situation, as late as you can, but you don't want people, you know, hung up all day trying to figure out what you're doing and all that. I definitely will update. I plan to have an E9. Um, I can't guarantee that at this rate, but I, hopefully I do because I think it's a good strategy week. Worst case, anything I change or if I decide to go heat map, stuff like that, I'll update uh, the article and stuff on the site. As it stands right now, the, the situation, I tried to, I was thinking about this last night, this morning, I hadn't slept much. Um, in this kind of, everybody deals with, you know, the community has been tremendous. They, they told me to take the week off and, and definitely appreciate that. But I deal with stuff differently and this actually helps me stay focused and kind of gets my mind off of things. Um, and this is kind of a, a, even more of a thinking week because the, the potential weather and probably the worst of it, quote unquote, winds and all that. They're going to have some rain. Um, I'm refreshing just to see if there's a newer one up. Um, potentially Friday could, could be the wettest. Um, but the winds late Thursday ish, I don't think that's really significant enough to worry about. Um, it is a little bit of a baby factor. Maybe we'll look at. Well, it will affect is, you know, I'll probably be looking at earlier guys. Now, it's only a two-hour gap because we've got three courses, uh, just in case maybe you miss smash and all that. It's three-course rotation. Um, but there are some little spikes of wind tomorrow afternoon. Um, looks like starting really the last hour. So, as it sits right now, I'm not sure I factor at all, but if you <laughs> – if it came down to it and you had a guy that, that gets in the house an hour earlier and, and doesn't deal with any of it, it's always the better. Um, I, you, you like guys going out early, fresh greens anyway, so I, I lean that way anyways, and probably 100% will be playing uh, Monterey Peninsula guys, uh, which is going to probably be the case every day. Friday, those winds that are coming in late Thursday, they stick around. They start dying off as far as the speeds. They just have some gust. 10, 11, nothing crazy. Um, 
and pretty much Friday looks really, really good. Majority of all player rounds. Saturday, we don't have any kind of deep forecast yet, super forecast, or I use two or three different sites. But um, right now, you see the strongest winds of the week showing up somewhere, you know, call it noonish. <laughs> uh, and it's pretty much 13 to 20 miles an hour with 20 to 25, 30 mile an hour gusts um, in those, call it, five hour window of playing. Um, now still the theory side of it, I'll, I'll, I'll try, I'll go into a lot more in depth of this, uh, on, uh, E nine tonight. I just want to give a little bit of talk to, to people that are out there listen to the pod for free. Um, a it's T 60 and ties, not T 65. So it's already a hard cut to make B you get three rounds guaranteed unless you withdraw. Unlike last week where it was two, right? Bigger difference. Um, the third thing is there's not as big of a stroke advantage among these three courses as what we had last week. You know, I, I said this Monday, but I went back several years and um, all in all, well, actually last year, you know, Spot Hill played the hardest um, all three rounds. So, but, but you're talking a, you know, maybe it's called a stroke, stroke and a half in some cases. That's significant. I'm not, I'm not saying that, but North and South on a good year, no weather at Torrey was three and a half to four and a half strokes difference in scoring. So just no weather, you already had a huge advantage playing the North. And so when you only get one South, one North, you had to make that decision. This is a little different because all these courses, you know, can play a little tough. Monterey is the easiest by far. We can kind of say that. Spy Hill, probably the toughest in, in calmer conditions. Pebble, probably the most at risk to be tougher in stronger winds, right? And may see some rain and stuff, but the winds is more of a factor, you know, with the small greens, all that kind of stuff. And, but we're also not dealing with, we're dealing with the furthest away weather projections for the worst conditions. Lastly, some of the best players, uh, most of the best players, quote unquote, higher price, whatever you want to call it, are all finishing on Pebble on Saturday because it's a TV group, right? And so it, it takes a lot of things to want to go out there and you go fade Fitzpatrick and, and um, Hovland and Spieth and Mav and, you know, Pendrus over there. Um, Smalley, somewhat popular this week. Keith Mitchell. I mean, a lot of the good, you know, better, quote unquote, whether you're going by OWGR, price, however you want to do it, odds to win type guys are playing Pebble Saturday. Um, it's just not enough yet for me to do any kind of all in one way or the other. Um, it, cause there's just so much that can change subtly. If we, if Saturday's forecast was tomorrow and we're like, Oh, it's going to be 20 mile an hour for 70% of the round or so now you can, and we know Pebble plays the toughest when the wind's up. Now, now you kind of have a better, I'll just, I'll just fade everybody starting pebble tomorrow. Hope my guys survive. And then they get the better conditions and courses, um, Friday and Saturday. We don't know that, um, tomorrow's going to be for the most part, fine. That winds pick up right in that last hour. Like I said, um, that's actually even moved out. Cause earlier today it was probably, it was closer to like one, those wins where I was kind of like, all right, do maybe I just want to play the guys that are playing pebble Friday <laughs> and know that they're going to get the best, best conditions of the week, so on and so forth. But it, it's already changed a little bit there where as of now, and again, I'm going to wait like I did last week. Luckily we get the West coast, um, time slots that, you know, we get till I think it's 1135 Eastern time in the morning when it locks. For me, it's a little unfortunate just with some of the family stuff going on because I, I can't, you know, there may be a, a chance where I won't have the time and ability to to move around like I normally can. Um, but, you know, I think by late tonight, kids are in bed. Um, I'll have a pretty good feeling. If I need to change stuff, I certainly will. I can see people just saying, and I'll probably play the early guys going out pebble um, Saturday, maybe fade some of the later ones, and then outside of that, not do anything. I could see if you're building – a hundred lineups, you do two or three different stacks and maybe it does break your way one way or the other right now. Just not, not a huge factor. 
Um, it's important. It definitely is. And I, I think it'll be something we look at uh, as the night goes along. And then the other thing, the last thing I kind of do is what is the industry pulse doing? What do we see on Twitter? If, if everybody's going one way or quote unquote, everybody, a majority um, that you feel, then maybe doing the opposite in this situation. Uh, Cause it's totally different from my, and some people got burned ish last week, or maybe they thought they made the wrong decision. So they may overthink it this week. It really was almost a wash last week that, in my mind, again, totally different situation with three courses. The the worst, the thing we're trying to predict is is the furthest away. So that thing moves two or three hours timeline, um, and all of a sudden the the Pebble guys get a fairly decent day for the most part, and they play you know Monterey Friday, which I believe is the right. Yeah, they get so the Pebble group gets Monterey Friday in what looks to be you know, sun up to sun now, probably the best day overall, maybe a little bit of rain, uh, but wind wise, the calmest all across, you know, then it pays off that you played those pebble guys. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, Trying to be the highest owned for me, Fitz, Hovland, Mav, Spieth, Hoagie. I don't think that's any surprise. Um, although I don't have many, I think it's going to be really spread out this week. I talked about that a little bit yesterday. I don't have anybody over 23, 24%. I think I just had a handful last night when I did my Tuesday night thoughts in the slack that are even over 15%. It's really going to be spread out there from like 10 to 17% um, with a few guys picking up uh, some steam here late potential sleepers for me, uh, Davis Riley, six, 7% Piercy four to 5% Kevin, you 3% uh, Carl Yon, 2% Malnati, 3%. Some guys that have moved up for me um, since the beginning of the week, Molinax, uh, Kitayama. I think Kitayama's, you know, kind of that bounce back potential. You're a little worried because of how bad he missed the cut last week. Um, he's got an 18th here, though. Everything I'm looking for, he, he ranks out really well. Um, can he putt, survive that, that type of situation, gets the easy course tomorrow, maybe gets off to a good start. Going to be low on because of some of that. Um, Nick Hardy is a guy I liked. He just moved up even more for him. Him and Riley are right there. Same price. Um, literally back-to-back -back in my, my final rankings I got rolling right now. Uh, right there with each other. Like both of them. Both have the same course rotation, so no factor there. And then Taylor Moore, a guy I liked Monday, but he's, he's another one that kind of kept climbing as the week went along. Um, guys, I'm fading, moving down. Like I said, I'm, I'll take a look at the pebble guys that are playing Saturday and, and maybe who goes out later could take, you know, factor that in by the time we get to the night. But, but outside of that Putnam Hoagie and power are kind of the big three that all up there in price ownership a little bit that, that I think I'll be off. Of. I know I'll be off all of them. I don't think, I don't think I'll talk myself into any one of them. Um, and I'll, you know, take my else, take my strategy elsewhere besides those three this week. I don't think Putnam, I'm interested to see where I get his final ownership to. Um, some stuff I listened to this morning steamed up a little bit. Some complete off of them. Um, I think the price, sticker price, scares some away. He just doesn't even rank out that good for me. So, <laughs> you know, I, even if he was priced down, I don't, I don't have him really super high. I think he'd probably be in that 12%, 13% range I was talking about earlier. Um, but still, you fade enough of those guys, it kind of makes you get, get your pool different. Guys I'm staying strong on so far, Griffin, Spieth, Mav, and Fitz. Uh, leverage plays, this is just pure ownership. Uh, don't know if I play any of them, but they're certainly going to be significantly low-owned in these price ranges. Uh, Denny McCarthy, Kucher, and Rose, um, going to be the, probably the lowest in the 9K range. Uh, Kisner, is he 9K or 8? Uh, he may be 8. He's going to be super low owned, and then Pendrith, uh, I think, is going to be four or five percent in that range as well. Underdog link is in the description. Mentioned it on Smash. They have launched their major best ball drafts, the Albatross and the Warm Up. Hundred thousand to first on the Albatross. I didn't see what the Warm Up is. I think it's a it's three dollar entry. I'm not one hundred percent what first place is. I think it's fifty thousand dollar pot though. I'll, I'll verify that for next time. But you can start drafting those. If I have time here in the, you know, this weekend, I'm going to do some research and try to think about that process and, and talk about it with, uh, you know, the community. Those will be fun, though, especially as we get closer and closer to the Masters. The Thursday three put is, three putt is up, five bucks, 20K pot. Um, these weeks are good because I don't think people will, I don't think enough people will, will reduce their player pool on those drafts to 
Monterey guys only, meaning they're, you know, people are still going to draft your Spieth play Spy Hill tomorrow, you know, those things. And maybe you can get some leverage on those daily underdog drafts. I uh, saw it last week. We had some good week, a good week on there again. Prize pick, same code, dollar for dollar match up to 100 bucks. GUP is the code. Link, same link in the description if you want to go check that out. My round one plays that I like Kucher over Dam- Damon, Birdie or Better. Pendrith over Hubbard, birdie or better. Detry over Burmeester, birdie or better. So those are my three favorite right now. They're limited. When you have these multiple courses, they don't have as much as they do, uh, especially round one. Uh, I believe last week they, they got more and more as the week went on. We'll see. But those are my favorite three. You can add anything to it. You can add basketball. You can add more golf. Um, any of the other plays, get up to six. You know, and I, I like the 25X potential. Someone asked me what's the minimum I play. I always play five or six, just the way the flex and the the way they they have the payouts. Um, I try to get five or six uh, almost all the times. There's math behind that, but I won't get into. I won't bore you with that. My final five for one and done. I like Rose, Pendrith, Molnax, uh, Taylor Moore. Those would kind of be like a little bit off the radar down. And then I think you could obviously go Mav, Spieth, Fitz. Um, Probably lean Mav because I can see myself using Spieth or Fitz in a elevated event um, or major. So those would kind of be my five there. Rose, Pendred, Bullnex, Mav, and Taylor Moore. Don't forget, Smash gets you 20% off right now. Locked in for life on that discount. Um, free seven-day trial with any sign-up. So you get seven days to check everything out. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Wednesday, and we will talk soon. Thanks.